Ladies and gentlemen, we have the declaration of the result of the poll for the election of a Member of Parliament for South Swindon. I, Stephen Peter Taylor, being the acting returning officer at this election, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at this election is as follows. Robert James Buckland, the Conservative Party candidate, 24,809. Sarah Church, Labour and Cooperative Party, 22,345. Martin Paul Costello, UK Independence Party, 1,291. Talis Kimberly Fairburn, the Green Party, 747. And Stanley James Pajak, Liberal Democrat, 2,079. And there were 87 ballot papers rejected. And, uh, and I do hereby declare that Robert James Buckland is duly elected as a Member of Parliament for South Swindon. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank the returning officer and the outstanding Swindon counting team for having delivered an expeditious and, I would say, excellent result. <laughs> I'd like to thank my opponents, all of them, for a courteous and civilised campaign. It's been hard fought, it's been hard won, but I want to pay my tribute to all of them for upholding the best traditions of our great British democracy. I'd like to thank the police for keeping us safe at a time when we have seen some of the most turbulent, extraordinary and, frankly, frightening events in our living memory, not just here, but in the rest of the world. We face the unprecedented peacetime challenge of Brexit, the threat of terrorism at home and abroad, the constant pressure placed upon government by the need to balance the importance of public spending on our public services and our outstanding debt, and all the other day-to-day -day challenges of government that I see at first hand as Solicitor General. The election night is still very young, so I'm not going to even begin to presume to predict the final outcome. It is, of course, my fervent hope that that outcome will produce the majority Conservative government that I believe this country needs, and a sense of bringing the country together in a way that perhaps we have not seen for too long now. And I say to all my friends like me who voted Remain, and indeed to all my friends who voted Leave, that it is now time to come together and give Britain the Brexit that we deserve, a sensible outcome that protects our industries both here in Swindon and more widely and also protects the rights and obligations that have been so dearly won whether it relates to workers, the environment, and a range of other benefits that cooperation has brought us. What I can say with absolute certainty is that my work in representing my fellow residents here in South Swindon will go on, and I will continue to stand up for our town every step of the way. We fought a positive local campaign, and I'm extremely proud of my outstanding and dedicated local team. My agent and campaign manager, Nick Burns Howell, deserves special thanks and praise for his hard work and dedication. And I'd like to further dedicate my win to the late Geoffrey Halls, our chairman and agent, who would have so loved this result tonight. And I finally, I also owe my thanks, my personal thanks, to my wife and my family for their continuing, unstinting support, without which I simply could not go on. Finally, my thanks to every fellow resident who gave me their vote at this election, and indeed my thanks to every resident in Swindon, because whatever your vote, I will continue to serve you as your MP. It is an honour and a privilege to represent such a wonderful constituency, and I look forward to serving both it 
and indeed my country in the months and years ahead. Thank you.